Hello, I'm Suti Kong from EDA International. Today I'm going to show you how to use COPC DLL to create a simple SCADA with Vision Studio. In this example, I will use VB.NET language to control and display data from OPC server. Today I use the CAP Server EX V6. As you can see, the value of the OPC tag is here. Now it display the RAM one on the display and the K one. Now I can enter the data and write to K one. The value of K one will change up onto the value you enter to the form. Okay, now we we'll, we will get start from the Vision Studio. Open. Vision Studio Express or Vision Studio Standard. Now create new project. I will use Vision Basics and Window Form. Before create the SCADA, you have to register the COPC DLL in the system in your PC. I have put the COPC DLL in the C drive and register with the command prompt. Okay, now you have registered the COPC.dll. Get back to the Vision Studio. On the right hand side, in the Solution Explorer window, and Reference, right click on Reference and Add Reference. You have to browse to the COPC.dll. Then click OK. Now right click on the form and choose View Code. We have to import the COBC DLL into the code. And then declare the variable name COBC1. In this case, you have to use with even. It's better to keep the data of the OPC tag into some variable. Then I have to declare some variable. To keep the data of the OPC tag. We need to specify the OPC server name, OPC tag name, the amount of OPC that we would like to connect to in uh, the form load event. Then we get back to the design view and select event. Double click on load event. To create the instance of the COPC object, COPC1 equal to New COPC class and then specify the COPC server name COPC one dot SVR name equal to your OPC server. In this case, I uh, get back to the OPC server and then click on quick client on you can export. directly from the uh, left hand side branch right click on it 
and export CSV. Okay, now you can see the OPC tag name. Copy the OPC tag name that you would like to connect to and then get back to the code. Specify the OPC tag amount. In this example, I will connect to the OPC tag for two tags. And specify the OPC tag name. The first one. And the second one. You have to specify the index number. This index number have to order from zero and specify the update rate in millisecond. Try to connect to the OPC server at the form load. And disconnect to the OPC server when the form is closing. When the data of the OPC tag has changed, we will show the this uh, we will show the value on the display. Then get back to the form and put label control into the form. If you would like to submit the value to the OPC tag, place the button control and text box. You use this text box to receive the value from the user and this button to submit the value to the OPC tag. Now get back to the code. Select the OPC one and the event that change. When the data of the OPC tag has changed, we will display its value onto the label. We will use the variable to keep the data In this example, we will getting data from the OPC tag and keep it in the variable v. And then we get the value of variable to display to the label. In this way, you can get the value from the variable to display on other objects as well. This will help on the memory usage because you will not use the uh, COPC dot TG war awfully.
this code will display the value of the OPC tag that has index number 0 to the level 1 and the next one in the level 2. Select button 1 and assign the event click. In this event, you submit a value from the text box into the OPC tag. We will use OPC write. The argument you need to specify the index number of the OPC tag that you would like to that you would like to write data. In this example, we will write the value to the OPC tag that has index number one. And specify value that you would like to submit. Okay, now we're ready to test. As you can see, this is the OPC tag value on the level one and level two. And now I try to enter some value and submit. This value will send to the OPC tag that has index number one. Thank you for watching.